This is a pretty high quality cover. It would have been nice to know you have to undo the straps before your first time putting it on my camper is 19 minus 1 inches. I bought the size for trailers up to 20 feet. It fit good. A little too much material in the front but that is probably because my trailer is sloping in the front instead just a flat front. Fit over the roof air conditioner and TV antenna just fine. The straps really pull it tight around the front, back, and underneath the trailer overall. Great product. I hope it holds up to the Florida sun and summer thunderstorms. Great cover and made it though 50 miles per hour winds so far. The trick is you have to cover up every sharp spot on the trailer that could rip the cover. I used foam sheets made for packing material, then wrapped the trailer a few times with plastic wrap. Uh, TM. I'm incredibly impressed. This thing has withstood for huge winter windstorms 40-50 miles per hour winds and snow. It a year. TM. S sitting broadside against the wind too. So far, no tears and the straps are holding up. After each storm I was expecting to come out and find it destroyed. Covers the tanks too, which is why I ordered the larger size. The door zipper is my only complaint. I wish it zipped a long roof too. You can a year. TM. T open your door all the way or ya ya. TM. LL tear it. I had our Christmas gifts in the camper. Seven nosy kids, so had to get in and out. Uh, TM. D also like to note, we put a heavy duty tarp over the top first, to protect the air conditioner, antennas and vents. This eliminated and sharp points that could cause damage we have a 29 feature in Cougar Bunkhouse. We live in the snow belt of eastern Washington so we get nailed with lots of wind and snow brought out winter. So far so good important to put it on properly and cover any potential rub points. I cut pipe insulation to put over the rain gutters and the rear bumper right now there is about 8 inches of snow on top rain shed right off and dried real fast.